When joining by electrofusion, the use of appropriate tooling is crucial for the welding of long-lasting, reliable joints. Our recommended toolbox includes the following items. A sharpened hand scraper for small diameter pipe, a measuring tool, an indelible marker, a spanner, pipe clamps, a pipe cutter, lint-free wipes, re-rounding devices, a special cleaning solution for PE welding, a rotational scraper, a suitable control box, and a high-quality Plasson fitting in its original packaging. Sand and mud shorten the lives of cutting blades and should therefore be avoided. The first thing to do is to clean the pipe with water in order to remove abrasives from the surface. Don't forget to dry the pipe with a lint-free cloth. The correct cutting tool will give you a clean square cut that is essential for a good joint. We recommend the use of pipe shears for small diameters and rotational cutting tools for large diameters. The pipe must be measured and marked to prepare for scraping. Measure half the length of the fitting, add two centimeters and mark the pipe. When using the hand scraper, mark the pipe as shown here. Good scraping will make those marks disappear. When you're done, chamfer the end for easy pipe insertion and make sure to remove all the scrapings. Mark the pipe this way when using a rotational scraper. Make sure all the marks disappear. And don't forget to chamfer the pipe end to remove the sharp edges. At this point, it's important to mark the true insertion or the stab depth. Measure the length from pipe stops to fitting end and mark it on the pipe. Oval pipe can be an obstacle to forming a high quality joint. Much of the pipe we encounter is not perfectly round and re-rounding is therefore an essential step of the process. This is especially true with large diameter pipe. As shown here, Clamps are placed close to the insertion depth mark in order to re-round the pipe end. The final step before installation is cleaning and degreasing. This is performed with a special cleaning solution for PE welding, as any other fluid may do damage to the joint. To apply the solution, use clean lint-free wipes or wipes made of fabric or paper. It is absolutely necessary to clean all the welding surfaces. Once these surfaces have been cleaned, you should not touch them with your hands. Since a clean, dry surface is fundamental to good welding practice, Plasson provides fittings in sealed plastic bags. Remove the fitting from its original packaging only when you are ready to degrease it and install it on the prepared pipe. We recommend that you clean the fitting as well, even when it is in its original packaging. Be sure the pipe is fully inserted into the fitting by checking the location of the stab depth marking, as shown. Plasson recommends the use of alignment clamps for the dual purpose of relieving stress in the joint and preventing joint movement during fusion. 
Clamping reduces the risk of short circuits and ensures trouble-free fusion. Also be sure to cover the ends of the pipe as shown to prevent the uncontrolled movement of air during welding. Now that we have completed the preliminary steps, we turn our attention to the controller and generator. First, make sure the gas tank is full, then start up the generator. Once the voltage is stable, connect the control box to the generator, then connect the terminals to the fitting. The fusion time may be set automatically by a self-recognition resistor. Other options include a barcode reader and manual input. The correct fusion time is shown on the barcode label on each fitting. Be sure to check that the fusion time on the controller screen is identical to the fusion time on the barcode label. For the duration of fusion and cooling, the joint is sensitive and should be left undisturbed. Leave the clamps and re-rounders in place. At the end of fusion, you may carefully remove the terminals, making certain not to move the fitting. Take good care of the terminal ends and cables. They carry high current loads and should be kept clean and dry. The correct cooling time is shown on the barcode label on each fitting. At the end of cooling, you may dismantle the clamps and re-rounding equipment. When fusion is complete, mark the dismantling time on the fitting. This is equal to the present time of day plus the cooling time. Since pressure testing requires lower temperatures in the joint, we recommend waiting four times the cooling time after fusion before beginning pressure testing. Get it right the first time. If you follow the instructions in this short film, you should achieve excellent long-lasting joints. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Plus on, global presence, local commitment. Our representatives are always at your service.